you please introduce yourself? What is your full name? Okay, uh, do you have an American name actually? Tim, okay. Great, Tim. And you said that you're studying in the 10th grade right now? All right. And why do you want to transfer? <laughs> yes, that's what I've heard about that state um, up north there. So are you interested in coming to Los Angeles? Okay. Have you ever visited Los Angeles before? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, what kind of activities do you like to do outside? Do you enjoy being outdoors? Oh, that's really wonderful. Um, how long have you been going to school in America now? Okay, so you came last year. Okay. Um, and you've already been participating in all those activities? That's really great. What other activities do you participate in at school? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you say you do track and field. Okay, and cross country. Um, any other clubs that you're in? Okay, what instrument do you play? Oh, are you any good? <laughs> how long have you? Okay, how long have you been playing the saxophone for? That is a very long time. <laughs> Um, well, Tim, your English is very, very fluent. I, you know, I'm very impressed. Have you ever taken any TOEFLs uh, or English exams? Mm -hmm. Okay, and what did you get on your SLEP test? Oh, you got a, your score was 60? When did you take this? Oh, so you took it last year. Oh, I feel like if you retook it now, then your, your test score will probably be so much higher, huh? Yeah, I think so, because I feel like um, your, your, your English, at least your conversation ability, is much higher than 60. Yeah. So how have you spent this past year in America just... Um, have you been taking any extra classes or tutoring or what how do you spend your time in Washington? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. Where have you been? Mm -hmm. Wow, I never knew that. I've never been to Washington before, but I've always wanted to. Uh huh, just too much rain, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so do you know what you would like to do when you are older? Do you have any goals or dreams? Mm -hmm. Okay, can you be more specific? I feel like now in the field of computers, there are so many different types of careers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so you want to be like a software developer or an app developer? Oh, that's that's cool. Why are you interested in this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, have you ever tried to learn that type of thing before? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. And um, learning it, was it difficult? Did it make you want to pursue this even more? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever tried to create an app? <laughs> yeah, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's very difficult, isn't it? So you're learning coding and programming? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a very popular field now. Many people want to become a software designer or programmer. Yeah. But there's lots of opportunities, and if you, you know, come to, if you're in California, there's definitely a lot of options here. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So do you... Yes. Mm -hmm. So maybe in the future you would like to go to Silicon Valley. Yeah. Um... Do you know what school you would like to attend for college? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. So, yeah, that's a, that's a very, very high goal to have. And I think that if you study hard, you can definitely do it. Yeah. Have you ever done any research before? What do you need to do in order to become a successful programmer? Mm -hmm. What do you need to do in order to become a successful programmer? Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Yes, this is very, very true. You need to somehow stand out from everybody else because, you know, like we were saying, it's a very popular career now. Many people try to do it. So you need to have something that makes you very special. Yeah. Have you thought of some, maybe some interesting ideas about what kind of app you would like to create? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, that sounds really interesting and kind of difficult, too. Yeah. Do you know anybody who has created an app like that before? Have you ever spoken to anybody? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. That sounds like a really interesting class that you're taking. Yeah. Um... What do you think makes you good at it? Uh, I Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's that's um that's really good. That can definitely set you apart. Okay. Um, so we're gonna do a brief reading passage, and I think it's gonna be pretty easy for you. And then after the reading passage, we're gonna have a little bit of a speaking portion too. So what we're going to do is if you can see the chat box, um, I'm going to paste a brief reading passage here. And if you could read it out loud for me, I want to be able to hear your reading ability. Mm-hmm. Yes. She has been by the Oh, I got disconnected. Okay, you can continue reading from what... Yeah, it's okay, you can continue reading. Okay.
Okay, that was Bugs Pride too. Okay, how was this for you? Was it difficult for you to understand? A little bit. Did you get what the main idea of the passage was? Yeah. Okay, what do you think was the main idea? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And what characteristic of Buck allows, well, out of all the dogs, allows them to have such a hard job and to be able to continue to work that way? <laughs> so there's something about those dogs they have something about them that um, allows them to work so hard so mm, they have a lot of pride do you know what pride is? When you're very proud of something. Mm -hmm. So this pride for their job and for their responsibility is what motivates them to keep on working very hard. So what the Klondike Gold Rush is, um, it's, a, it's a phase in time. It's a time period um, in the late 1890s when these dogs were used to transport all these people and the supplies to uh, dig for gold and mine for gold. So this was during that Klondike gold rush period of time. Yeah, so they have a lot of pride for their job. And um, that can apply not just for these dogs, but for people too. So let's say later on you're, you become a computer programmer or an app developer, and it's a really, really hard job and you want to quit, but you have a lot of pride for your job and for your responsibility, and that can be what keeps you going. So that's kind of what the, the story is trying to say, what the main idea is. Okay, you got that? Yeah. All right. Okay, well, that was the reading comprehension portion of the interview. And I have to say that I think that your conversation and your speaking and listening ability is much stronger than your reading and comprehension ability. So probably that means that you can have an easy time having conversations with people, right? You have no problem understanding people. You have no problem expressing yourself and saying what you think. But maybe it's a little bit difficult when you are in, in class to follow along with the assignments and tests and things. So, um, yeah, that's true. So when we look for a new school for you, I will try to find a school that, you know, um, has some support for at least your classwork. Because you, well, you will have no problem keeping up with your classmates, but maybe for the classwork and your assignments might need to be a little bit more help. Yeah. Okay, so we will find some great schools for you in LA um, that is good for your, uh, your academic level, okay? okay? Okay, no problem. Do you have any questions for me? Okay, alrighty. Well, it was great talking with you. You did a great job today. Okay, bye-bye, Tim.